and run this story next week. 19 years, huh? Wow. Keep us posted. And good luck. I'm Margaret Reynolds, lead journalist from the Daily Tribune, here to interview Cheryl Haynes. One sec. A reporter arrived for 67342. Someone will be with you. Right this way. Be one of our lifers, she don't get any visitors, at least for years. What about her family? What about her friends? Less than record was her father. That stopped when it died 10 years ago. Then there was this pastor. He fought for her, but after that, let's go. Nothing. Remember now, no touching. You got two hours. Oh, that, that's all I need. I would be lying if I said I didn't know how I got here. This case has been biased from the beginning. This is a complete mockery to the justice system. Enough. Guilty. Life. That one word changed everything. Are you Margaret Reynolds? Yes, yes I am. Hi. Okay. Please have a seat. Thank you so much for agreeing to meet with me today. Whew. Yes, they said you wanted to interview me for some type of paper. Yes, I'm a journalist from the Daily Tribune, and I'm doing a piece on women who've murdered their husbands. Well, we don't got nothing to talk about because I didn't murder my husband. Well, Miss Haynes. Uh, excuse me, baby. My name is Cheryl. Call me Cheryl. All right, Cheryl. Um, I understand you don't want to be called a murderer. However, a jury did find you guilty in the murder of your husband. Listen, I know you don't want to believe that, but I didn't murder my husband. I don't, I don't know what you've heard, and I know a jury may have found me guilty, but I would have never intentionally hurt my husband. You know what? Good day, Miss Rose. Cheryl, please, look, I apologize. I'm sorry, I, can we start over? I, I did not mean to offend you. Look, I know you want to believe that I shot my husband in some kind of jealous rage or lover's quarrel, but let me tell you something, Miss Reynolds. I love that man with all my heart, and I would have never and I mean never hurt my husband intentionally. Then tell me, what really happened? Hmm. And if you don't mind, is it okay if I record it? Hmm. My husband was a, he was a good man. Hmm. He was a deacon in the church, you know, well respected in the community. And I, I, yeah, I, I thought that we had a good life financially, you know? <laughs> His name was Clifton. Fine. Ah, 
Clifton Hayes. Whew. He was an insurance agent at one of the top insurance companies in our area. We was members, you know, of Ebenezer Missionary Baptist Church under the leadership of Reverend Chapman. Reverend Chapman was a, he was a good man, a real good man. He used to come in here and, 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 and visit me, and then his wife sent me a, sent me a letter and say he died five years ago. So what happened to him? Cancer. Mm-hmm. Cancer took him out. That's why he stopped coming. I used to think that me and, me and Clifton would grow old, you know. Some natural cause would be the reason why we would go. I would have never thought that he would go before me. Definitely not like this. He was so, so full of life, you know. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, Miss Haynes, really. Here. Um, you, you stated that you killed your husband on accident. How did the accident happen? Like, what led up to it? You know, my husband's job was, you know, he was connected to all kind of people, especially women. People just calling and texting and, and paging them all the time, you know? So are you saying your husband was cheating on you? He wasn't being faithful. I could tell you that much. He was a good man. He wasn't perfect. By far, he was not perfect. But he was mine. And I loved that man with every bone in me. I, I loved him. But I honestly believe that, that that church, that church was the reason we had a lot of problems. Well, when you say problems in the church, what, what kind of problems? Oh, girl, there was all kind of problems in the church. Just all kind of problems. Men sleeping with, with other men and, 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 and women sleeping with married men. All, all, all kind of stuff just going on that wasn't supposed to be going on. Well, was Mr. Haynes involved in any Oh, of course. He was at the center of it all. Well, when did it all happen? When did it begin? You know, I can't tell you when it began. But I, I can tell you the day that everything changed. Life, sometimes a cruel game. But it's what you make out of it. That's God. Bottom line, trust is the biggest issue in any relationship. Yeah, that's him. Deacon Clifton Haynes. My husband, my confidant, my everything. Little did I know then, he would take everything from me. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Come here, baby. I love God you bless too. you, sister. God bless you. Man. But I see the All right, now, you know, I'll see you. Quiet rehearsal, okay? Yes, All right. See you next time. Okay. God bless you, sister. God bless you. <laughs> she's such yes. a sweetheart. So sweet. Girl, she can sing, okay? What? <laughs> Well, it's not well. in sync because he and then the, the backfield, they're not in sync. Mm -hmm. On them, the, on them, the coach. Oh, ladies, ladies, how y'all doing? Oh, the Lord. Lord. And that Geneva Lattimore, she wanted anything that didn't belong to her. Sister Hayes, will you please tell your husband that he has a premium package at my house that he can come pick up at any time? Anytime. <laughs> 
see y'all. I know, I'm watching. So what you do at the church on Sunday? Praise the Lord, everybody. How y'all doing? Hey, honey. Hey, hey. Bless you, sis. How you doing? I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Hey, hey. I really need to go. Okay. I gotta go to another service. Oh. But God bless. Y'all enjoy the rest yes, of your God evening, you. all right? I'm gonna see you Whoever knew there was a power stronger than your pain to overcome So, what are we doing today? I was thinking that, uh, let's go home, get out these clothes. Oh, yes. Look at you. Yes. <laughs> get out these clothes okay. and then, um, let's go by TJ. He said he was, he said he was putting something on the grill. Okay. And the game come on again. Oh. So. And your mind is telling you that it's over. If you say so, I'm just saying the Falcons ain't gonna win no time soon. That's just my observation. They didn't win last year. They didn't win the year before that. I mean, they're not going to the Super Bowl no time soon, so you don't get a chance for the Falcons. Like, Okay, so what? We didn't go to the Super Bowl this year. What, what I'm saying with the team we built is okay. that we Deep built. inside, I was, I I was battling. In one sense, I saw how much you prayed, led Bible study, and, and, and longed for God. But I couldn't lose that feeling. Deep inside, I, I, that he was hiding something. Girl, it's so good seeing you. Girl, I know. Things have not been the same since you got too big for the event business, got all in church, and now you a holy roller. <laughs> it's not even like that. Girl, yes, it is. Keep it real, OK? How else would you decide to give up putting on local shows, meeting all Atlanta's finest? Hmm. Cliff is not going for that. Cliff. The same Cliff that used to stay till closing every time we threw yes, a party? that Cliff. Girl, you must have forgot where he met you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Look, it was either Glitz Life succeeded or we was both getting on that pole. <laughs> Girl, you are something else. I miss this so much. Girl, I'm in that church so much, and I haven't created a bond with nobody. For me, you know you're getting a real. And not all that Jesus is on the mainline mess. Girl, don't say Jesus is on the mainline, because you know that's my jam. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, look, tell me about it. That's all I used to hear in the house growing up, OK? Grandma ain't never seen past the first hook, though. Because that's all she know. I don't think no black person knows the entire song. <laughs> but how long are you in town for? Oh, I just dropped in today so I can visit Mom. But I'll be back again next month for a few days so I can host that after event for the Soul Train Awards. Girl, I really hope you can make it this time. I'll definitely try. <sighs> but I'm so glad you called. I know. Well, catch me up. So tell me what it's like being married to that fine deacon husband of yours, who I can tell has you spoiled. Dang. Look, I know I joke about it, but y'all really do look amazing together. I mean, I remember what he was like, and that's what you always wanted. I mean, most girls like me wanted to marry rich, OK? But you, you always wanted a man of God in the church, a Devon Franklin. <laughs> Well, we all didn't get as lucky to find a good, perfect man on the first go around like you. Well, it's not all it's cracked up to be. Girl, <laughs> I walked in on one of them men's groups, and they was in there talking about football. You would have thought Jesus was the starting quarterback. Girl, if that was the case, Atlanta would have a better record. Hold up. Don't you say that too loud, because I believe they, <laughs> they think Jesus is the starting quarterback here. <laughs> That's a mess. Uh-uh. Girl, it is just so good to see you, though. You are glowing. Oh, thank you. Sure, be ready in 10, baby. How many you want? Hey, two is fine. Baby, I brought you some drink. Thanks so much, baby. You're the best. Thank you, Ma. I'm glad you're enjoying your food. I am. I'm up here waiting on Cliff. Hey, what you up to? Well, what time are they coming? I texted him and he never responded, so I guess they're on the way. It's funny because I hadn't heard from Cheryl either. Oh, well, what are you thinking? 
I mean, how much time we got? <laughs> yeah, you see what time I'm on. I, mean, I ain't studying that game. You ain't not studying So, that? after the game, mm -hmm. when are you going to make time? How much time? That's really the question. How much time? What you say? What you doing, though? I mean, uh, I'm interested, trust me. What you did say after the game? I'm talking about now. Mm. Oh, come on, with a chicken. Chicken you know you want to do. This was a typical Sunday for us. Cliff and TJ lost in the game. I told you, boy. Hey, that boy Kevin really the truth. From? Where you from? Boot tie. That's where you what from? I call him. Boot no, road tie. You know it. While Val and I stayed to the side talking, I tried once to confide in her. I learned quickly that history and who you are married to has a lot to do with whose side you will choose in these situations. You know Cliff don't have the time to cheat on you, girl. Y'all go to church every day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365. Why, when he got time to cheat? To her, he was the perfect man. Now, the one thing I, I did take away from our conversation, she gave me a few tips on some things I can do to spice up my marriage. Yeah, just you his wife. You can do whatever you want to now. You you his wife. No. Girl, be nasty in the in, in, in the spirit. I'm gonna make this phone call. for you. Yes. And you're gonna love it. I already do. You like the ring I got you? I of course it, I love it. That's you. so beautiful. <laughs> you know I'm showing it to everybody, making them jealous. I, I just love are. everything, baby. Yeah. And all the roses, too. Oh, yeah. Everything is so perfect. Even though I'm here, I'm thinking about I just you. love you, baby. Just hurry up and get back to me. I need you beside me. One week is far too long. God, I hate all these deacon conferences. I'm learning so much about Jesus. I didn't know. Send me some nude photos and then I'll 
I guess since I'm Mrs. Haynes, I'm allowed to text you a few, right? Wait. Aren't y'all supposed to only be focused on prayer and meditating on scriptures this week? <laughs> you something else. Hmm. But I like it, though. Oh, Boy, you are so crazy. You. you are definitely not a singer, but keep on working on it, Mr. Deacon. God's got you. Boy. Boy, how you go from singing to sleeping? Good night. <laughs> but again, like I said, along the way, things, things really changed. Deacon Hayes, I got something special for you tonight. Oh yeah, what's that? <laughs> Close your eyes and you'll see. Babe, do I have to? Yes, you do. Now close your eyes. All right, they closed. <laughs> hey, Deacon Hayes, how you doing? Shh. I'm trying to do that thing, that little nasty thing you've been wanting me to do. Mm. <laughs> Babe, uh, babe, 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 come here, come here, come here. You don't gotta do that. You don't I... gotta do that. No, you don't have to do that. I'm tired, had a long day, and I have a long day tomorrow. So can we just chill on that and get some rest? Okay, I understand. Okay, what's going on? Shara, what are you talking about? I was just willing to do that nasty thing that you've been wanting me to do, and now you acting like you don't even want to be bothered. Yeah, because you really don't want to do it. I I've to, been I, practicing. I had to ask you first, so you don't really want to do it. Yes, I do. Babe, can we just please go to bed? No. Come on, lay down. Who is she? Nobody. Can we please just go to bed? Unlike somebody, I got a job. Oh, so you want me to go get a job now? Is that what you want me to do? No, listen to me. You are gonna be all right, all right? I got you, I got you. That policy I just took out, I'm worth more dead than alive. <laughs> and the million dollar policy I took out on both of us, you worth more dead what? than alive too. <laughs> listen, yo, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Look, I love you, okay? All right, I love you. You not gonna tell me you love me back? I love you, too. All right, so can we not go to sleep? Ladies, time's up. Oh, I'm sorry, I wish we had more time. I mean, <laughs> that's all that I have. Oh, I'm sorry, sure. I didn't. I didn't mean oh, it like that. It's, listen, it's, it's it's okay. Trust me, it's okay. I, I know what you meant. You know, do you mind if I come back next week? I would really like to hear the rest of the story. Well, uh, I mean, if you want to, I, I don't mind. Hey, I, I look guess, forward to it. I guess I'll be seeing you next week then, huh? Yeah, great. Hmm. I look forward to it. Thank you so much. And Cheryl, thank you. Thank you for sharing your story with me. I prayed for my marriage, but it seemed like the more I prayed, his cheating got worse. Uh -oh. Same old, same old. You don't sound too happy. No, I'm not. How was your day? 
Well, actually, it was pretty interesting. Mm. Yeah. So, you know, I'm doing the story on women who have murdered their husbands. Mm. And the lady I interviewed today said that she killed her husband by accident. Yes, she did. By accident? By accident, babe. Yeah. And then she told me that she is not a murderer. And when I say not, she was adamant. Like, she let me have it. I am not a murderer. Like, she went in. I mean, why would she admit to something like that? Well, Listen. babe, you know, I... Look, if I did it, I'm just gonna be honest. Be like, girl, look, this she what happened. She did it. They always do, and they always end up right where they're supposed to be in prison. Trust me, I know. I sent a lot of them there. 24 hour lockdown, shoe program, 20, all that. 24 man? 24 hours. She don't even get out on the yard to 20, do push ups? 24. Babe, really, like, that's some for real time. But she old, she old as baseball, babe. I don't think she, she old, getting old? She old, old babe. Mm. Mm. Mm, you smell good, girl. You smell good. I don't think she getting out back. Like, she's going to be in there for a minute. She on license plate detail. Babe, I don't want you getting wrapped up with the people like that. My advice is to get it done quick and cut it off. I'm not. I just think it's interesting. Like, I help me understand what would make you want to kill your husband. That's crazy. Well... That's what old people do. They kill each other. They weigh in there. Pass me that chicken. Oh. Here. I hope not. What is in there to eat? I'm starving. I don't see anything to eat in this refrigerator. Why? Because it's on the stove. You don't, you don't see. You don't act like your wife don't get in them pots. You see what I'm doing. You smell Ooh, that. She do get in them pots. She do you get in them pots. This your mom's but I'm recipe. hungry right now, though, baby. I'm okay, starving. Well, babe, you get some detox tea in there. And if you're going to have something, have an apple. I don't, I don't want see, you to have some fruit. Wait, nothing, 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 nothing. Babe, there's fruit. I'm cooking. I'm going as fast as I can. I got you. Fruit, please. I don't see fruit. I don't see Okay, nothing. babe, we'll just drink the detox tea. You know, we're trying to get you right for the mayor's ball. Listen, I babe, want you to smell looking good in that tux. Look, babe. I look good in anything, babe. I don't need detox teas. Can I just eat? Let's I just eat. Game, babe. I don't want you wearing no spanks to the mayor's ball. Come on, babe. I got you. Like, you know, you sexy. I want you to be that way for a long time. Look, I'm going up to take a shower. It's been a long day. All right, babe. Well, dinner, we eat. ready in a half an hour. Well, why his mama keep coming like that? Hello? Hello? Who is this? You know I can hear you breathing on the other end, right? You know that. You got to. Hello? This mama ain't never hung up on me before. Please call me. I'm at home alone missing you. I love you. I'm leaving my wife soon. This marriage is dead. Wow. Okay. Margie, I left my phone up. You lying, cheating dog. Margie, hold it. How could you? Stop. All these years, all my time and all my energy I have put into you Margie. and put into this relationship and into you, no. and this is how you treat me? Before you go really? there. Really? Before you go there, oh, just God. stop. Okay. Stop. Listen. This is Listen. Happening. This is happening. Listen. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? This is what you want? That's nothing. Your little assistant? That's nothing. Really? It's it's nothing. And all this time, all this time, I've been asking you, is she more than your assistant? Is she more than she your friend? Nothing. And you've been telling me now, making me think I'm crazy. I cook your food. I wash your clothes. I pray for you. I do everything. That's the problem. That's you. the problem right there. It's I, 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 I. Everything is I about you. I do this. I do that. What about me? You ain't done nothing for me since you got that new job. What about me? What about my needs? Ever you since you got that job. Away by your assistant and all this time I've been asking you. Stop. She don't mean nothing to me. Okay. 
Why'd you? <laughs> you are destroying my life for your assistant! An assistant! Seriously? I should have listened to my dad when he told me never to marry you. Oh my god, I cannot believe this is happening to me. Why'd you just stop? Do not touch me! Get away from me! Get away from me! Get away from me! to discuss inmates' personal information. I understand. But what I can tell you, she has never caused any problems here. Gets along with everybody, which is something I strongly advise her here. She's never getting out. She's accepted that. Cheryl, let's go. Are you okay? No, yes, I'm, I'm okay. I'm just a little tired. I've been working a lot of hours lately. I mean, Miss Reynolds, if you don't want to, we can we can really pick another day. You don't look like you're feeling too well. No, I'm o I'm okay. I'm fine, really. <sighs> Miss Reynolds, can I can I ask? Sorry. What's wrong? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I came here. I came here to interview you, and now you're trying to console me. <laughs> well, what's going on, Miss Reynolds? You don't have to call me. You don't have to call me, Miss Reynolds. You can... Margaret is fine. <laughs> Margaret, talk to me. What's, what's, what's going on, if you don't mind me asking? <sighs> I just... I just found out a few days ago that my husband is seeing someone else. Oh no, I, I'm so sorry. And I, I, trust me, I know how it feels. I, I, I've been there before. And I know it hurts to have somebody you love betray you the way that they did. I know it hurts. Yeah. Yeah, it does. So, you mean? Hurt your feelings, huh? Broke your heart. I was so, I was so angry when I found out and I didn't know what to do because I did everything. I did everything for him. I prayed with this man. I was there for him and I cannot. An assistant, like, oh my, really, he had an assistant and I've done everything for him and I cannot. And since then, he has the audacity to pack his stuff and move out of our house to be with her. <clears throat> so he broke your heart. Hurt your feelings. <clears throat> so did you want to kill him? No. That's the last thing on my mind. Why would I want to kill him? I still love him. Okay. So you, you, you still loved somebody, even though he cheated on you. 
You still love them, and you didn't want to kill them or hurt them, huh? <laughs> okay. I get it. Mm. I get it now. I really get it now, I understand. You, you loved your husband, but he cheated on you. But that doesn't mean that you wanted to kill him. Exactly. I get it. Hmm. You know, can we just start over, Cheryl? Can you, um, can you just tell me about the days leading up to the accident that claimed your husband's life? Well, me and Clifton had been doing so good, so good. But you know what they say, good things don't last forever. I remember it was one Sunday. I remember we both left church so renewed and happy. Felt like we were starting all over again. But just like every other time after a few weeks, I began to have strange feelings like something wasn't right. She, Cliff loved to work out late, mostly after midnight. He said he enjoyed it because the quiet time allowed him to be alone with God. Hey, Big, I didn't know you was here today, man. Oh, man, you know what they say, health is wealth, right? Yes, sir, that's what they say, Liz. Hey, yo, did you pass that, uh, that shorty by the elevator? Uh, that's not she all right, man, she all right. No, she went all right. Tried to holler at her, man, but she's moving a little too fast for me, man. You been all right, though? I feel good. I've been all right, dude. I feel like good, but yeah. you know, you, um, you're looking good, too. You want to go back to my place, get a little more personal? No one has to know. But as I soon learned, with my husband, nothing and no one was off limits. Fall afresh, fall afresh on us. Breathe again, breathe new life in. Hi, babe. Head out, but call me if you need me. Are oh, you want some breakfast? Oh, what you got over here? Oh, do you want some breakfast, Mr. Hanks? Oh, I think I'm gonna take mm -hmm. the second breakfast you want. Oh, you should. I've been ready and Ooh. waiting on you. Mmm, <laughs> yes, Deacon Hanks. Mm. Oh. Mm. Uh, mm. Hey, you have been practicing. Mm. I'm glad you oh. like that, baby. If you need me. All right, just call me, all right? I will, baby. Mm. You should have put it on me this morning. Hey, listen, don't you do that now. Ooh, daddy. You don't get me going again, girl, sure you stop. don't want to stay? No, I can't. I got premiums to deliver today. Deacon, hey, so you just stay with me. Okay, well, listen, you're making it sound so inviting, but mm -hmm. I got to go with you, okay? I'm okay. getting shirt on. <laughs> Lady. Mm -hmm. I love you too, Deacon Hayes. All right, girl. Ooh, God knew what he was doing when he gave me you. <laughs> Touch our hearts. Let our passions be one. Touch our minds. Let our doors be like yours. Feel a song. Pour your spirit out. Cause we're I need help. I'm 
men too deep. Lord God, I'm asking you that you cover my husband, Lord God. Lord, whatever it is that's not like you, Lord God, I'm asking you that you just keep him. Guide him, Lord God. Lord, help him to stand, Lord God. Help him to overcome temptation, Jesus. Whatever it is that's not like you, God, I pray that you cast it away right now, Lord God. You said that we will cast the serpents underneath our feet, Lord God, and to trust you. you. Got a good woman at home. Begin to steal them. I'm out here just messing up all these people's lives. Sleeping with all of these different people. Now, Lord God, I'm not going to give up on my marriage. I'm not going to give up on him, Lord God. I'm asking you that you fix it right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, whatever it is. You help us right now, Lord God. I'm asking you. I want to do better. Got a problem. I pray in your name, Jesus. Amen. I was always taught that God would never put more on us than we can bear. Dealing with Cliff, that very phrase was challenged every time. Yo, home, man. don't have the capacity to deal with you. Look, I'm tired. It's been a long day. I, I bet you are. Man of God that walks in this house and not greet his wife. Mm. Sure. I, I'm pretty I'm sure you are. To, I'm not even trying to do this with mm. you. All You're right? not trying to do it with me, huh? I'm not trying to You've do this with you. You've been tired all week. All week. You have been tired and, and busy and so occupied. I can feel your energy, but it's OK. Go in there and take a shower. Well, God is not pleased with your actions. When I go to New Orleans this Friday, I'm going to go see a doctor. So you're still going to New Orleans? Ah. And I don't see, I don't see what's funny. We're still on New Orleans. We're not still on New Orleans. Yes, but the fact are. that we're you're still, still going. Orleans. Yes, we are still on New Orleans. Because every uh, time, every issue goes no, back to New Orleans. <sighs> You know what? Hold my view. Hold not my doing this tonight, Cheryl. You can do this by yourself on okay. that couch by yourself. Okay. Be that way. Your food will be ready in 20 minutes, Deacon Clifton Hayes, Mr. Man of God. Girl, I'm so glad you called me. You know I'm going to always be here for you when you need me. I had no idea it was going to be that bad. Yeah, it's been that bad for a long time now. And it's like, with him being a high-profile member in that church, he can't do no wrong. And you know those sluts at the church, those scandalous sluts, they just sitting there waiting for something to happen so they can just take a little piece of them, dive right on in. See, that's why I can't stand church people. Just everything's so fake. <laughs> but I want to make it work. I love him. Girl, you know you cannot change a cheater. No matter the profession. I mean, unless he wants to change. Look, all that praying and Bible carrying is gonna do is make him hide behind that scripture. Look, I used to get so tired of seeing my dad use scripture against my mom. But that's why I ran so far away from that world. I know what you mean. 
He knows the scripture, and so fast. Do you want to know my honest opinion? Do I have a choice? No, you don't. I say you gonna put on something sexy and revealing and come with me to the after event. Girl, it'll be just like old times. Like all Atlanta's top rappers and trappers will be there. And you can find you something new. <laughs> something new? Girl, I can't do that. I honor my vows. I'm a, I'm a woman of God. Well, woman of God, can we please go grab something to eat and get off this moping train? I'm starving. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, look, I know the perfect place. We can go grab something and it'll cheer you right on up. <laughs> oh, girl, you are crazy, okay. <laughs> In this moment, it's just you and me, oh. I admit it, I have been too comfortably doing my own thing. Dominique was the only true friend I had. And the only one I could fully trust in this life. Life is not fair. Three weeks later, when I was on trial, I lost my best friend when I needed her the most. What you working on? Uh, actually working on my sermon for this Sunday. Call it Cheating in the Next Room. Oh, now that sounds like a blues song. <laughs> actually, it is. I was listening at the words, and as the lyrics were coming out, mm -hmm. I went to thinking, why not we bring it to the congregation from a biblical perspective? Oh, OK, so um, what book you preaching from? David and Bathsheba. You know, that's a great love story, but it has its yes. downfalls as well. I'm headed to the grocery store, okay? Look, I love you. Love you, too. Right that, that's a really good one, baby. Thank you. All right. All right, I'll see you later. I need your love now, joy and peace. Please send some happiness my way. Text okay, babe, I'm getting ready to leave. I got my phone. Got everything. And, hey. and where are you going? To the men's conference. To the men's conference? Yes. Oh, okay. So when are you going to tell me about this men's conference? Sharon, we talked about this three nights ago. Well, we did. Yes. You informed me that you were going to a men's conference. Okay. Babe, listen. If you were not comfortable with me going, you should have said something when we talked about it. Well, if I a knew about days ago. it, if I knew about it, then I would have said something. This week we're supposed to be working on us. We're supposed to be doing counseling. Hey. Okay. All right. All right. So, oh, oh, no. Yes. I'll... Go. I'm gonna... No. No. Really, Cheryl? Really. Just go. You know what? If you had an issue with me going, you should have said something. You should have told me early. I did That's tell you, Cheryl. Problem. You don't communicate. You don't you listen. Mean. You don't you listen. So All now right. I don't right. listen. Babe, I love you. All right? Bye. I love you. I will call you once I get there. All right? I just feel like if there's a conference, why wouldn't you be there? Or anyone else? That's a fair question. But he didn't mention it to me, though. But it could have been a last minute thing, too. You do know there are a bunch of these conferences. That's what he said. But I'm not buying it. Some something isn't right. Cheryl, I understand your concerns, and they are well justified. I also understand the power of God and how he can change people and their situations. I know that Cliff is in his valley now, and there seems to be no way out. But I pray he finds his way out. And so in the meantime, we serve a miracle-working God. And we must keep our sight on the king. I'm trying. Lord knows I'm trying, TJ. Don't try. Just do it. You do know me and Val have been through our valley experiences as well. Are we a happy couple? Yes. But there was a time in our marriage where we thought the best solution for us was for us to be apart. But God, mm. but God thought otherwise. And so, my friend, keep your eyes on him and not the situation. So here's what we need to do. 
I'm going to come into agreement with you, and we're going to pray that God guides Cliff back home to you and bring him back to you the way he wants him to be, okay? Let us pray. Lord, we thank you so much. We praise your name. We give your name honor. We give your name praise you for your grace. And we ask now that you will bless this amazing woman, bless her husband, Cliff, that he may return home to her and give her the love she needs. We know that you are a God who never fails. We know that you are never changing, God. Yes. We ask that you would turn this situation around, and we put our faith and trust in you. And you said, he that findeth the wife findeth a good okay. thing. So, Lord Jesus, she's the good thing. And we pray that you will bless Cliff to realize that he has a good thing right here at home. Yes, and she loves him dearly. So much. Bless him, keep him together as one band of Christian love, where one can't fall without the other. Yes. In the name of Jesus the Christ, we pray. Yes. Amen. 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 Needed that. Gotcha. I don't want to lose my husband. opportunity to spend some time with you. Mm -hmm. A long time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You cut me up. Mm -hmm. mm. You smell so good. How you doing? I'm doing good now. Look at you. Might as well make it official. You and me. Because I love you. Mm. And you know, can't nobody do me like you can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. But guess what? You know I love you too, though. Mm -hmm. You know that, right? Yeah. But, uh, just, just a little rough right now, though. For me, in the bed every night by myself, dreaming about having your baby. Baby? Yeah. <laughs> baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen. Yeah. Baby, we're gonna do all of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna, baby, me and you, mm -hmm. exclusive, like we always talk about, right? Hmm. Right. But the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna divorce Cheryl. <sighs> yeah, divorce Cheryl. How many times have no, you said no? No, 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 no. Come, come here. What? I'm tired. I'm, I'm... No, baby, listen. I'm going to divorce her. And then it'll just be me and you, just like we always talking about. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. You try.
Yeah. Okay, so where did the word come from? Since it was a deacon conference, I where mean, did it come from? It came from the Bible. It came mm -hmm. from the Bible. Well, yes. why pastor wasn't there? Why mm -hmm. all the rest of the men oh, wow. from the church did not go to the conference? Look, I told you. I know you, you gotta know, get your hands off of me. Listen, I told you that Don't it was the last, it was last minute, and some of the guys didn't even know about it. And what's up with all these questions? You don't trust me? Huh? God. I know God. Listen, I went to a men's conference, all right? I went to a men's conference. I'm trying to better myself, be this righteous man of God. And this is what I got to come home to? My wife, my wife interrogating me. I might as well be out here cheating. If I'm going to get this when I come home. Do you know how many women would love to have a man like me? I know. You better get right, y'all. Cause this right here ain't it. you're going through and you are a good woman thank you. and I just wanted to let you know that I'm here for you and God's got you thank you so much. you're welcome from God, he shall not be mocked. For whatever a man sow, he shall reap. So I ask you today, the doors of the church are open. Come and give your life to Jesus while the blood is still flowing warm in your veins. You call upon the Lord. You turn to him in his times, for he is your savior. He will deliver you. What's wrong, Brother Goldsby? I'm sorry, Pastor. I got to get this off my chest. I'm sorry, Sister Haynes. But I've been sleeping with Deacon Haynes. And I've been keeping all of his secrets. He's been sleeping with other women in the church. I was done. I never felt so small and so low.
How could you? How could you do this to me? How could you do this to me? Don't you dare sit there and act like you don't know what I'm talking about. With all these different women. Hey, I have the slightest idea what you're talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. All over town. And especially with that Geneva Lattimore. God, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I was just sitting there pouring my heart out to that woman today at church. And I bet you she was just laughing at me. I was so... Baby. So embarrassed. Baby, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and Romello. Romello? You've been sleeping with Romello? Bending it over for Romello? Men and women, you just. Baby, I got a problem, okay? Yes, I got a problem. But look, I've been praying to God, asking God to heal me. Praying to God to ask God to heal you? You're gonna need more than one prayer. You need way more than that because Romello told the entire church. Everybody knows who I'm missing. I'm gonna do this to me. I can't live my life like this. Almost 20 hard years, almost a lifetime. Someone finally heard and believed my story. Margaret did some investigating of her own and discovered multiple lawsuits against this very company because of malfunctions of the same brand gun. My case was retried, and even though their defense team fought hard, I eventually won. In my case, was ultimately overthrown. I guess after all, my God does grant second chances. My intentions were to find a monster, a lost soul. Instead, I found someone free, with every right to curse the world. But instead, she found joy in the simple things, smiled at the sunrise, and relished the beauty of the sunset. Many women have walked your shoes and not yet found the courage to tell their story. Through you, I've learned to use my laughter my crying to showcase my strength. Thank you for choosing us to tell your story. Now that you are free, may the second act of your life be as liberating as you've made mine. Fly on, Blackbird. Fly on.
Anh em này chắc là thế em cay vậy nhá à, hôm trước em hôm trước em cũng mua nhá mà cậu em lên công ty cũng để tay nghe kiểu gì thế nào đứa nào khách mất cay vãi mất mất con tay nghe xin cái này là mua là không là không tay nghe đúng, đúng vậy cái mua là không tay nghe này mua không tay nghe này đóng hộp của nó đang ngoài không tí lấy tay nghe của anh bỏ vào đây Sao này đây mua máy là không có sạc đâu thơm nhưng mà mình tặng nó mà tặng máy rồi tặng máy thôi hết cái rồi đấy có để anh ấy giảm <cười> anh ấy giờ làm gì đây bây giờ mình sẽ mang về để tặng bất ngờ thằng của em đây máy đây bỏ ốp về là một triệu rưỡi nhá chủ một triệu rưỡi giờ mình sẽ mang về để mình tặng nó để xem nó có bất ngờ hay không nếu mà nó không bất ngờ thì mình sẽ xin lại để mình không không tặng nữa thì bây giờ anh em tôi là đi vào phòng để xem thằng em nó bị mất cái điện thoại vấn đề tôi đã tôi lỡ giấu điện thoại đi rồi Còn người đi anh Đây để em giấu cái này vào trong đây rồi Để em giấu cái ốp vào trong đây này Đó 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 Bắt đầu đi à Bắt đầu lên chiều trôi thành một phát